why is no one talking about this golf course? It is a perfect fall day today, and there's nobody out here. Is this one of the most swell-kept secrets in the Greenville golf area? I mean, this golf course is recommended to me by my barber. I have not heard a single person talk about this golf course, but we're out and we're giving ourselves a go with some fall golf near the Greenville area. Today, we're playing Cherokee Valley Golf Club. What's up, Perfect Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I am pumped to play this golf course today. It looks gorgeous, and there's no one out here. It is a perfect day today. From the tips, about 6,700 plus yards. It rates about a 71 and a half, 72 and a half, something like that. And the slope is like a 134. So it's not a terribly difficult golf course, but I think it will test us just a touch because there's a lot of elevation that's out here and the fairways are real thin and they're pretty dry right now. So everything's gonna roll pretty hard for us. Let's get the round started on hole number one. It's a big par four. I see the 150 marker out in the distance, right down the middle of the fairway. So that's where we're headed. Let's go. Well, we did end up finding the bunker, just barely. Not a bad place to be. We got about 115 yards left. Uh, I can see the pin, but you guys won't be able to. This big bear tree is the furthest right that I can go. And the green looks like it wants to fall right to left. 54 degree, let's go. Oh, it's too far right. We'll see what that leaves us. <clears throat> Line is shorter than I wanted, but we'll take it. I got a putt. Hmm. A little more break than I thought. All right, five on the first. Pull two, par three, with a pin that is right in the middle of the green. We got a 150 shot. We got a nice healthy nine iron here. A little bit of helping wind, but it shouldn't be too much of a concern. Let's just get something up there and give ourselves a birdie putt. Oh, I like it a lot. It bounced right in front of the pin. We could be real close. Come on, let's go find out. Oh my goodness, the ball mark is just past the hole. That is about as close as I've ever gotten, boys and girls. <laughs> Here we go. Back to even. Short part five for the third, 479. A little dog lay to the left by the look of it, but there's a grove of trees to the left and then a forest line to the right, so. Just gonna use that as an opportunity to go right down the middle. Come on, driver, let's go. Take that, a little dry, but we'll take that. That might need to sit, might be in the top light though. No. I'll come back down. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's starting to move. We take that, good contact. Ooh, more break than I gave it credit for. <laughs> Come on. Here we go, here we go. All right, next pull up is a tight one, very short, but the landing area gets very, very narrow the further up you go. And by that, I mean more than 220 yards. We're gonna take four hybrid here, just play something nice and safe. And it was like 150 at most and probably closer to 130. So we're gonna play that number with a nice confident stroke. Nestled up just past the 150 marker. Good kick to the right. Everything we like. Sticks feeling real good today, boys and girls. All right, par five, 500 yards. Straight away, a little dog leg to the right. Uh, I see the 150 yard marker out there. I don't think we're gonna get there, but that's gonna be the aiming line. For the most part, be a little bit left of that. Let's go, let's keep driver going straight. Yeah. 
flat. I'll find something I can pin in. Yeah, left us some mounds over there. We'll see. Be a little long, a little right, but it's a putt. Stay, 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 stay. Wow. I pushed it. Bruh. Pushed it right off the face. Felt it. <laughs> Okay, two cases of holy shit here. First and foremost, that view, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Second of all, the flag is down past this like tall grass stuff. It's a par three playing like 200, but my, my distance finder can't actually pick up the flag. So we're kind of guessing here. Playing like 215, I think. So we're gonna hit a 190 shot and hope that that's fine. <laughs> There's really nothing else we can do here having never played this before. We'll have to learn a lesson right now. on and dancing. Keep turning. Ooh, it's a really good putt. That is one of the most unbelievable vistas I've had off of T-Box anywhere I've played. Why is no one playing this course? <laughs> Views don't stop. We're cruising through though on to number seven. Par four down the hill heavily with some helping wind. It's only like 320 total yards. I don't want to be long here though. That looks like you're dead. So I'm gonna take three wood, give it a try. If we're short, we're chipping. And if we're left, we're gonna be in the fairway. So this is a weird layout, but I like three wood. Let's swing it. It's gonna be left and I'm gonna like that a lot. Left of the green. Yeah, looks like it's in the middle of the fairway down there. I love the way I clipped that. We'll see if it's good. Hmm, it's pretty much dead straight. Hey, we'll take these parts. Big parts train going on. Both those two holes are just really fun layouts with really incredible views. Things that if you're in the Western North Carolina, upstate South Carolina area, you kind of go to look for, <laughs> especially if you're visiting. Coming up next for hole number eight, it's a par four. It's another short one, and I don't really feel confident in the target aiming lines or the distance to hit anything larger than about 200 yards. So we're taking four hybrid here, playing something dead straight up the middle. Hopefully give us a wedge in, let's go. Yeah, I saw it come down. I caught that actually a little heavy. It drew out into the fairway. It might be a little longer than we'd like, but it's still gonna be a wedge. It's a short hole. Should be a nice safe shot. Shot actually bounced a little bit long over the green, so I'm gonna put the camera down here. You can watch it come up. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right, that's a tough up and down. All right, hold on. Weird look here to my eye on where we're going. There's a tree out there in the fairway um, that we're gonna try to take an aiming line towards just to the right of that. It looks like the hole wants to go right, but it actually finishes left. It's not very long, we still got driver against the wind. Might be too far right. I don't know what's over there. I didn't hear it hit anything, but we're gonna hit a provisional just in case. That's right, it's free. Yeah, just short and left of it. It's not gonna be a good place to be hidden from either, but we'll see which one we take. All right, there's a ton of space over here. There's the college chipping and pitching green and the driving range to the right. No stakes, nothing. So. We found it, as far as I consider it's in play. We've got about 175, but it's playing right under the wind. I'm gonna take six iron and try to give this thing everything to get there. I don't know if it's gonna be enough because this wind is pretty heavy.
think it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> Let's go. What a nine. What a nine. That's an unbelievable front nine from your boy. Hope you guys are enjoying the content again at the halfway point of this video. If you're enjoying it, you like the layout of the course, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. And while I'm taking a second doing a little PSA, I want to give a big shout out to Robbie who came out. He's the head golf pro here at Cherokee Valley and saw the camera and just wanted to come and say hi and see what I was all about and super friendly guy. So big shout outs to Robbie, big shout outs to the staff here. This course is in unbelievable condition. I just can't believe it took me this long to come out and play it. So if you're around the area, come give these guys some love. We got a 410 par four here to start at the back nine helping win in our back. We don't want to hit really anything more than about 260 yards. So we're gonna take seven wood here um, and try to play a little bit of a draw to the left, which we typically get with this club. And hopefully we'll have a nice wedge in here to get us going to the back nine. Let's go. That is so good. Be good. Oh, I got short. Get there. Oh, it did. Wow. Two foot pars. <laughs> Something about the flat stick today. I don't know. It's just feeling a little different. <laughs> Hole number 11, par five, big one up the hill. And it looks like it wants to swing a little right to left. Fairway's also sloping right to left. So we're gonna let the big dog eat here with driver, of course. We want to kind of keep this, I think, up the right side as much as humanly possible. So I think I got a position in mind. There's a little outhouse in the distance. That's gonna be my target point. Let's see how she flies. I never saw, oh, that doesn't sound good. It didn't sound good either. I don't know if that came back down. I never saw it. So we'll hit a provisional just in case we can't find it. I never saw that either. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's just left of the cart path up there. Okay. All right, we're playing the provisional. Uh, there were red stakes over where the woods were, but I, I can't find the ball, so we'll play it as OB. If I would have seen it go in, maybe there's a chance to find it, but I've got no idea where it is. Got a long way to go, but there's a little bit of helping wind off the right. We're going to take three wood, try to get as close as possible. Let's see. Ha! No, I just popped it. No. Oh. Not great. That jump. Hopefully that's not too long. It's not up. Slow down. That's not that was a tough putt. That was a very tough putt from there. Come backer. Okay. All right, we got a 180 par three. It's gonna be six iron from you, boy. It sets up for a draw, which we've been hitting with the six iron. So we're gonna try to take it to the right side of this pin just because there is no space to the left. And hopefully we draw something back in towards pin location. Let's go. Stayed out there. Not like how I hit that, it's gonna work out great. <laughs> Go in. Make me look like an idiot. I didn't like how I hit that at all. <laughs> <laughs> what a comedic par. <laughs> Another short par four coming up. This time it is completely blind, which terrifies the ever living crap out of me. <laughs> that said, I think we have a confident number as far as what we need to get to, and that's gonna be about 240 yards. So we're gonna take seven wood here, just trying to play something up into the fairway. No idea where we're going. Let's go strong, seven wood. Come on, baby. That might be still fine. I like the line, then I kinda of lost it in the clouds. So note to self, this is a huge downslope. I could have taken pitching wedge off this tee box just gotten over the ladies tee and had a look. I, I, I had no idea. Uh, we were searching around for a while and we did find it. It just nestled into the rough over here. I'm not gonna see the ball, but 
Uh, we've got a look. It's going to be a very difficult line, a very difficult shot, though. That is such a tough shot. What do you do with that? <laughs> Pace. You know, things considered, we'll take that. I haven't really been paying attention to my score, but I've ever put together a solid round right now. I really don't, I really honestly don't know. You're probably gonna think there's no way you don't know where you are to par. I really have not really been paying attention at all. Uh, this next hole, another short one. A 180 shot gets you to the 100 yard marker, so it's very short. I'm gonna take six iron and hit to the middle of the fairway. Just over the bunker. That was almost a little bit long, actually. Ball actually dipped into the hazard. There's red stakes right up here. So we're taking it kind of on the line that we would have crossed at. And we've got about 100 yards left here, hitting three. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, stay there, though. Okay, we're good, we're good. It started to roll down, but we're good. Beautiful water features kind of across this back nine. There was one on nine that we didn't take any film of, but beautiful setting. Give this course a couple of weeks, it'll be pure. Got about a eight, 10 footer here. Eh, yeah, call it eight. Tough putt, par putt. Oh! <laughs> Dove a little more than I thought it would. All right. This is just, it's, it's beautiful back here. It really is. This time of year has quickly become my favorite. I used to be a spring guy, I'm definitely a fall guy now. <laughs> the par three we've got in front of us now with another beautiful backdrop is playing about 155, a little helping wind. I'm just gonna take a nice, easy, smooth nine iron. I like that. Didn't see where it landed, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, what speed. Why my voice gets so high pitched? <laughs> All right, par five, 521. Big dog leg to the right. Tons of helping wind. Uh, we want to try to, I think, I, again, I don't know, but I, I think we want to try to go to the left of this bush, kind of over the mound a little bit, because the more right we are, the more we're blocked off into our second shot, so. Shot, but I think it's in. Yeah, I saw it down through the trees. A little pushy, but it should be good. Down to the pine straw here. I don't really know what gap I need to be going for, so I'm just gonna put it right back into the fairway. Yep. All right, so we're kind of blocked off by a tree to get a look at the pin, but I can see the left side of the green, which is enough. It's about 215 to get there, helping win, or high bright. That is flying right to the middle. Boy, I hope that's close, because it was a great line. Look at this green conflar. So this green is um, difficult. <laughs> we're on, but wow, that's a tough pin and a very tough green. I'm just happy we're on. Well, there's no good way to do this besides, I think, chipping it, which I know chipping on the green, that's like a sin. But I think as long as we keep the bounce exposed, we won't take any divots. We just gotta, I mean, there's there's no line for me to putt to this pin position. I could go like super high up and hope it comes back, but I'm just gonna go over the top and try to chip it over this fringe, I think. Roast me in the comments for this one. Yeah, finished a little past pin high. Wow, really past pin high. No divot, don't worry. We didn't even touch the ground barely. It was the right line, a right idea, I think, but it just rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. We got that for par. Go in. Oh, oh! That thing 
took the whole lip and then spun on the edge for a second. Oh my. <laughs> I've never seen that. All right, comment down below. Number one, how much of a jerk am I for trying to chip off the green? Number two, follow up. Is that the craziest lip out you've seen? Because that was a pretty crazy one. <laughs> a big par four, it's like 450 or something like that. Um, this is gonna be a difficult shot, mostly because I have to kind of guard the sun as I take this shot. Uh, wind is coming a little bit against it off the right. We got driver, big open fairway, let's go. That thing got way up there. We launched it, but the wind's gonna balloon it a little bit. Still be good. Be enough. That was right at the pin. So that's a lot to ask of the four hybrid, but it was right at it. All right, we need to have a conversation here, friends. I just checked the score for the first time. Six over, 78 if we par. We are on the green. Birdie gets us a 77, which ties our best score ever. Come on. Oh, and it's in! <laughs> darkness, my old friend. If I hit that, it's in the center. <laughs> wow. Why is no one playing this course? I just played the whole round by myself in like three hours. Golly, it's gorgeous. The elevation's insane, the mountain views are great, and the course conditions are fantastic. I'm absolutely blasted. That was whole 17, we still got one more play. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. The whole time I was sitting on the 17th green, I thought I had to hit a birdie to make 77. We still have one more hole to play, which means, well, we still have a chance to make birdie. <laughs> Part four dog leg to the left. I see the 150 yard marker out there plus a bunker that's a little bit deeper. We're gonna go off that bunker and hopefully hit a bit of a draw here at the driver. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ. Not my best swing ever, but there is a lot of room on some of these holes, especially as you get closer to the clubhouse. We got about 178 to get to this pin. I gotta go right over this tree. The pin is front and a little left, so we want to try to stay to the right side of this tree if possible. I got six iron. I'm gonna to try to get this ball up in the air. Again, it's not drawing with the six iron. But we'll have a look at the pin from there. No way. Oh man. Oh! I should have taken my time over that. No way. <laughs> well, that's a mess. Well, it's never fun when you have a shot to possibly tie your record and then you five putt on a very hard green for not even 80. <laughs> it's an 81 overall. But man, I tell you, I had so much fun playing out of Cherokee Valley. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching the video. We've got so much Western North Carolina fall golf coming, including a round that may break my record. So make sure you're subscribed right now to make sure you don't miss a single one of those videos. And eventually we'll be jumping in and doing four of the hardest golf courses in Myrtle Beach beach. That's going to be a fun series to do. So subscribe again if you have not done so already. Until next time, make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.